We are at the W.M. Browning Cretaceous Fossil Park. It is off of Highway 45, just north of, north of 30, uh, near Frankstown. If you go till 30 until it dead ends into 145, you turn left and then you go up a few hundred yards and turn left again where it says airport and it'll bring you right to this. You can see the bridge for Highway 45 right there. We're in North Mississippi. This is an Argiope spider. Looks pretty scary, but actually it's one of the friendly ones. It's one of the ones that takes out a lot of uh, flies in the south. This will be around until it's about, about time for freezing in a couple of months. Trying to get a picture of a pretty butterfly here in the stream bed. 20 Mile Creek. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wonder what he's doing, just kind of sun in there. What do the butterfly think about? <laughs> He's come, trying to come back past me. We think this is a little nymph. Kind of moving with the stick a little bit. I've got him in the sunlight now. I think this is a little nymph like a dragonfly larva. Right down here is where we think. It's kind of hard to see. Where did he go now? He's over there. Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see him. Alright, cool. Little dragonfly and larva. So all day that we've been out today, we've seen minnows everywhere, just like you're seeing down in this little little place, just teeming minnows moving in every every direction. As I'm getting closer and closer, they're getting a little bit more and more nervous as I get closer. Oh yeah, starting to try to scatter a little bit. They're like, what do we do next? Which way do we go? What do we do? We're freaking out. Another set of minnows. We keep seeing these all the way through everywhere we're walking. Minnows, minnows everywhere. As the stream's rolling down hill, these sinkholes form, and these are where little rocks will get in there and just kind of roll around and around. Kind of a cool, rocky area. I don't think we're in the right area to get shark sea, so the wrong stratum. What I was talking about earlier about how the stream rolls by, it carves out places in the rocks. You can kind of see some. It's a really pretty place right over there. By the way, you can see the back side of our sieve. Put some 2 by 4s together and put some of these strips to hold them. That's the, the bottom side right there. So far, not much luck today. This is one of the things that we noticed earlier is this red deposit coming down the rocks into the creek. This is most likely an iron deposit. And you can see a rock stratum with ground above it. So we're definitely at the boundary of one rock stratum with another. It's pretty cool. A little bit of iron. So Charles says this is a horsetail. What do you think the name of this stuff is? If I remember correctly, I think it's Equisetum. Cool. You can again see the iron deposits leaking through, leaching through, and then some really beautiful moss over here against the horsetail. The horsetail is a very ancient plant. It's uh, like Charles said, it's one of the first vascular plants, I believe. This is the kind of the closest thing we had to some rapids today. You can look up the creek and see how beautiful it is. We're about 20, 30 minutes north of the entry point right now. We're heading back. This little rock, round rock, is probably about three or four inches wide, and I found it over over there in the the mud bank right there found it right over there I'm not sure what it is I thought it might be the source of the iron but it's 
not right inside or anything. I don't know. I look at this bank along the stream, and this is where I keep thinking, man, there might be something here. A shark tooth, a big massive shark tooth or a skull hanging out of this, but so far we haven't seen anything like that along here. We keep seeing these accretion things. There's one right there. I tried to kind of get it out of the wall, but kind of just scarred it a little bit. One of those round things in the wall here. So go ahead and see if you can pull it out, Charles. I think you can just pry it out. It's, yeah. What is that? Put it out in the water. Put it out there and get the stuff off of it and let's see. Does it wind up being round like that other one? Yeah. It's that same thing. What is that? It's pretty cool. That may be the source of the iron. Is it kind of orange on the outside? Looks more green. I wonder if that could be a... Does it break up when you hit it? Seems kind of like clay, doesn't it? But why is it round? Why do we always find those things? Hmm. Tiny bee is attracted to the yellow lettering, I think, on Charles's Charles's book or something. He thinks he's gonna get a treat or something I think he may not be a bee he's is he got two wings he yep he is a he's a dipteran yeah I see it right there Ha. You're drawing the insects, Brother Barnes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if, if I can focus on that guy. There we go. Okay, your destination of the Frankstown Fossil Dig is at the junction of 45 and 30 in northeast Mississippi. Out here, got a good, beautiful picture of the full moon. If you listen real close, you can hear the drone and the small engine airplane in the background. That's kind of what you hear. The whine of a truck out on 45. I believe 45 goes from Tupelo to somewhere. I see one coming. When you get to this intersection, you can either go straight ahead, turn left on 145, and then t immediately turn left on, when, it, when you see airport this way and that will take you this direction up here or you can do like this car that is about to exit on to 45 north go down or go up 45 north until you get to the first crossroads turn right and immediately right there into the bridge is the fossil site. It's not called the Frankstown fossil site. I can't remember the name exactly right this second, but that's where you are heading.